Hi, and thanks for joining me for this quick tour around Address Book. Address Book is uh, the contact manager app at the heart of about every app you'll use in the CM.com platform. And you'll find out that it's quite easy to use and, and quite straightforward, actually. So uh, let's have a look. I can either use this way to get to my Address Book or go via this menu. Let's take this one. And here I am in Address Book. This is what you'll see when you'll open the Address Book app. Call this the overview page, and uh, you'll find the recently uploaded uh, contact list right here. And you have the ability to uh, to search through your lists or, or filter them by using this button. But uh, when you open up Address Book for the first time, you'll actually see a blank screen. You obviously want to upload contacts in here, so so let's start. I'll use the uh, the plus sign to upload a new contact list. Here I can give my list a name. Looks good. And I can uh, select a file to upload. These could be either Excel files or .csv files. Uh, actually, let's have a look at the Excel file I prepared for this demo. So here's my list. It's a small list, pretty straightforward. Actually, I have a column with the first name information. I have some uh, some last name information right here, and I have another column with the phone numbers. And I've also added a column with information specific to a certain person. I'll show you later how to use that. So yeah, this is it actually. Let's let's upload this one. All right, now let's go ahead and upload that file. There we go. Now when I upload the file, I get a preview of my list. And here I can check if this info is being processed correctly. So Address Book recognizes the first name column as well as the last name column and also the phone numbers are recognized but it doesn't know what to do with the specific message info I placed in the column I called message so I can choose to either skip this or attach it to another merge field in this column and I can choose a list of pre-selected ones but in this case I will file it under custom field one again I'll show you later what it exactly does go ahead and click next and this is where address book helps me validate the numbers in my phone in my list so in this case it recognizes that i didn't use any prefixes so there are no double zeros for the international numbers it's it's recommended by the way to always use the the country code in your phone numbers list but but address book can help you format your numbers after you've uploaded them you can just simply uh, indicate here which format you've used and address book will help you out but this looks good, and when I press create, my address book is being uploaded. There we go. Here it is. I see six people in my list. There is a 100% uh, phone number information in there. No email addresses, since I did not add any. Looks good. Now, if I would like to see who's in my list, I can uh, I can simply click the list, and right here I have an overview of my contacts. Clicking a contact again makes it possible to update any information which I'm now not going to do all right let's go back to the overview page I have uh, the option right here to favorite my list when I would like to use it more often which I'm obviously going to do so let's keep it this way um, but let's say I also have a few people who I would like to address separately I can upload their contacts by going to the contacts tab right here and by using the plus sign I can upload a contact one by one so they're not part of a address book if you will and finally the last tab is the unsubscribers tab right here so when people opt out from your message their contact will be placed in this list and you also have the ability to manually add any unsubscribers via this window or uh, actually remove them and that's it for address book. Stick around if you'd like to see what we can do with this address book we just uploaded in the campaigns app. All right, so here we are in campaigns and I'm going to start a new campaign and send it to my contact list that we just uploaded into address book. Let me start off a new campaign. By the way, if you'd like to know more about campaigns, you can find more information on our website or visit the help center. Let's quickly set up a new campaign. There we go. 
Now right here I can select my recipients and in this case I can select this address book that we just uploaded or go to here and select multiple ones if I'd like to but let's leave it at this. All right. Now going into the message details, I now have the option to use merge tags and personalize my message. Remember that information such as first name and last name details were also uploaded into our address book. Now let's create a short text here. All right. Now if I want to personalize this message, I can say place a first name merge tag here and put a last name merge tag right behind it and as you can see in my preview screen I can already see an example of what this message will look like now I also added a specific message body linked to certain recipients I've stored that under custom field one there it is okay and as you can see the personalized message now has become even more personal with the message body being linked to that recipient by the way Notice that my preview screen shows a preview based on where the recipient is based. Remember I had a few Dutch phone numbers in there, Belgian one, uh, UK, South African. And when I scroll through these previews, I can see the content change based on the recipient's location. Well, and there you have it. You are now able to explore the power of combining address book with campaigns. It's up to you now. Happy campaigning.